Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow spinach in lead pouch 12 pod hydroponic system. This variety of spinach is called Bloomsdale long standing spinach. I have grown this variety in Aero Garden and other hydroponic systems in the past and it worked out very well. This variety produces thick and gigantic leaves. Let's see how it turns out in lead pot 12 pot system. I called out in many of my spinach experiments in the past that the germination is very tough and unreliable with the spinach seeds. So I already germinated seeds using wet paper towel method. It is very simple and straightforward process. Just place a few seeds on a paper towel, fold it, wet it, place it in a Ziploc bag and keep the Ziploc bag in a dark and warm place. I just recommend you to start with lots of seeds as backup. Now I am transplanting the well germinated seeds into lead pot. This takes a little bit of time but it is totally worth it once the seedlings are settled in the hydroponic system. If you like spinach, you will definitely see all your efforts paid off so quick. Alright, the garden is ready with seedlings in all pots. It's been two days since I transplanted the seedlings. All seedlings are looking good except one. I am almost hopeless on this seedling. Let's see. Day 4. I see one more seedling gave up. Good thing is, I already prepared a few spinach seeds ready using the most reliable wet paper towel method. Actually, I started these seeds for another hydroponic system but I can use some of them here. Day 10. Seedlings are looking good including the ones I recently replaced. I am getting a feeling that the growth is little slow. I normally expect some baby spinach by now but none of the seedlings are there yet. It's been 14 days. The seedlings are coming nice. They are taking a lot of time to grow but they are definitely showing some progress. So far so good. Day 29. Now I can see a bunch of leaves but this is not good. Extremely slow and weak growth. As I said earlier, Bloomsdale long-standing spinach produces strong and gigantic leaves and I should be able to harvest a bunch of leaves by now. But everything I see here is looking like baby spinach. Day 32. Not a lot of difference. The same baby spinach here and there. Just for a quick reference, I have same variety of spinach started in Aero Garden on the same day. And I am feeding the nutrition in the same ratio in both gardens. Look at these gigantic leaves in Aero Garden. This is exactly how the Bloomsdale long standing spinach variety grow in right conditions. Lead pot 12 pod is definitely not giving right conditions to grow this spinach. Day 34. I see a good amount of spinach leaves on one side and very less spinach on the other side. I still don't see any bigger leaves on any of these plants. Very disappointing. To add fuel to the fire, the plants already started bolting. I am not seeing much value keeping this garden any longer. Day 46. With the hope of getting bigger leaves, I still haven't started harvesting any spinach from this garden. But no luck. Pretty much all the plants are bolting now. Day 47. I finally decided to harvest all the spinach and give up on these plants. Normally, I harvest the leaves and cut the stems so the plants will come up with side growth and go for a few weeks. But I have no hope that it will happen in this garden. So I am giving up on these plants now. Overall, I am not that happy with this experiment. It looks like I got lots of spinach but this is not even close to my expectations. 
This is the third experiment I conducted in this lead pot 12 pot system. First one was amaranth, second one was red romaine lettuce and now spinach is the third one. Amaranth was very successful. Lettuce was okay and spinach didn't meet my expectations. So I think the system needs some improvements. The first improvement I expect is the pump. I can barely feel the water circulation in this system. Especially when I fill the bowl to the maximum level, the water circulation is very bad. So I ended up filling only half the bowl. In fact, Litpot must improve the pumps in all of their models. The second problem that I am not very sure but I highly suspect is the lights. Even though it has a 24 wattage lights according to the specs, I don't believe they are equally capable. This is not a bad system at all as none of my experiments are disasters. They just didn't meet my expectations. Anyways, with a few improvements to this system, it can easily stand up well to the competition. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.